Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're gonna play some Kirby's Dream Course. And just a little bit of Dream Course. We uh, don't have long enough cords to play two players, so. Yeah, I need to buy another one of those dumb Nintendo cord extender dealies for our classic. And I don't know, I don't play a lot of two player games, I guess, so it hadn't come up before. But we're gonna... we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> uh, name entry is just, uh... Well, I think you gotta do, like, the, uh... Like the, uh... The NES Kirby. And you gotta draw the circles, then you dot the eyes, and put a great big smile. I guess. <laughs> you currently have a Kirby that looks like it got punched in one of its eyes. That's about right, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Course one, and I've got two Kirbys. Two Kirby's. Ah, uh, so close to a pro shot. So it's probably going to work out best anyway that you're uh, you're currently the one at the stick because uh, I don't know a whole lot about golf. I don't know much about this golf. Well, yeah, but you at least understand the mechanics of golf as a sport. <laughs> I guess? Like, I've done a little bit of putt-putt, but I never understood how actual golf worked as far as the mechanics or what clubs are good for things. I mean, other than, like, a putter is for putting, and, like, I guess a pitching or a sand wedge is for, like, getting it out of a sand trap, I guess. But, I mean, those are the ones where it's, like, literally in the name. <laughs> okay. Uh, I seem to remember... So, I've played this game, like, once. Uh, in, like, a hotel room that had, like... Uh, instead of, like, a cable TV service, they basically just had, like, a Super Nintendo that you could rent. <laughs> oh, neat. And I got to play, like, this and Link to the Past. Uh, I played a little bit of this because, like, Link to the Past takes a long time to really get anywhere in unless you're, like, a speedrunner or something. Sure, sure. So I goofed around in it for a bit because, well, it's a Zelda game and I didn't have a Super Nintendo. Uh, and then I played this because I'm like, oh my god, there's a Kirby game on it. I love Kirby. But I was very confused uh, by this, like, weird golf mechanic. <clears throat> but I seem to remember... Ah, uh... oh, come on. <laughs> uh... And I think since... I think since it's one player... Uh... The stars are pink for you, but if we played two-player, I want to say, like, the other color is blue. And you get points for how many... Oh, no. oh. I screwed up. Yeah. yeah, there's no wall there. <laughs> it's okay, you got this. But, like, how many stars you have, I guess, is how the two-player mode works. I, uh, try to get my, uh, my mom to play. Uh, ah. She's not really much of a gamer, but it was a... A simple enough concept that I was like, hey, it's golf. Like, we kind of know what golf looks like, at least. Yeah, yeah. So who was asking us to play this game? Oh, um, uh, a friend of ours on uh, Twitter and uh, YouTubers. Uh, Lucas and Matt? Lucas and Matt. They run, like, a, a comedy YouTube channel, and they're pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool folks. Oh, you should throw a link in the description or something. I will do my best to remember when I am uh, doing all the tabs and stuff. 
but uh, I guess this is actually one of their favorite games. Uh, whereas the both of us are like, well, I'm aware of this game, <laughs> but uh, have never really had the opportunity to engage with it beyond just a, the most casual of playthroughs. Uh... Oh, stay up there, you jerk. <laughs> Well, at least you're on one of the stages that has walls. I mean, that could have knocked you off the stage in a worst-case scenario. But, I mean, by all accounts, it's a pretty competently put-together uh, golf game. Yeah, once you, you know what you're doing. Once you get the hang of the, the controls, which I think may be the issue with literally every golf game ever made, is trying to translate hit the ball with the stick into a series of controls that are intuitive. Yeah. I think the closest I've ever seen is probably, like, Golden Tee Golf or something, where they just used a trackball for it. Ha <laughs> What happens if I run out of tomatoes? Uh, I think you lose a Kirby. Oh, that would be bad. I, I don't I know would... if I'm gonna make through all the holes. Well, we'll see how we do. <laughs> Spikes! Uh, I wonder where the warp goes. Let's find out. No, no! Well, thankfully some of the bad guys seem to provide tomatoes if you... if you hit them, so... We'll, uh, we'll hope for the best on that one. Uh-oh. What happened? I ran out of tomatoes. Oh! Use the tomatoes for the shots as well. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to vaguely remember how this goes. Uh, if I remember correctly, for me last time, poorly. <laughs> yeah, I think every time you hit an enemy, you get, uh, like, a tomato back. Okay, come on, chip in. Hooray! Yeah, I ain't making it to the end of this. <laughs> This isn't even one of the hard courses. I was gonna say, we're just starting out. Yeah, this is the... Like, the beginning Kirby stage of courses. Oh, I yeah. don't like this already. <laughs> hmm. I think you need to hit that one so that you get super jump. Because there's, like, a way to get, uh... Yeah. There's a way to get powers. I mean, so far you've just been hitting nobodies that don't have cool powers. Right. Aha! Nice. Take that, jerk. I figured you out. Yeah, I seem to remember playing on a stage that had the, the tornado power, which, in every game I've ever seen it, it is always the most chaotic uh, <laughs> power. And uh, just flying right off the stage, even one with rails. <laughs> oh, it's a parasol, okay. I didn't see him with the parasol, I thought it was just a waddle do. And I was like, I wonder how the beam power works, but, uh... Can you control the parasol while you're floating at all? Uh, it doesn't look like it. That's too bad. Get in the hole! I don't have enough extra lives to deal with this. <laughs> it's funny though, uh, considering that I'm terrible at actual golf and 
not much better at uh, digital golf. I have a surprising collection of golf games now. Well, they're like... Golf games are the ASMR of video games. Oh yeah, they're they're very chill, and I can appreciate that. Oh, you still have the parasol uh, from the last stage. Well, I think I'm gonna need to jump this. Uh... I mean, if you hit yourself uh, at the base, you might be able to, yeah, do one of those. Of course, I think the float wipe might mess with your uh, landing, though. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, you got him! Hooray! Get across the water! Oof! You made it! But, uh, no, like, I've, I've, I've got this because of the, the SNES Classic, and then I've got, uh, Turf Masters, because I was just picking up some of the weird uh, Neo Geo games that have been available on the Switch lately. And then, uh, with your help, I think I played a pretty considerable amount of Golf Story. Sure. We gotta do that for the channel one time. That one is weird. It is interesting. I, I can't believe that there's a Golf RPG, but there is. And that it's good! Like, that feels like something that someone would make as a joke on uh, Game Dev Tycoon. It's yeah. like, sports RPG game. But uh, it works. Well, where is everything? I think there's a mode where you can look around the stage without aiming a shot. Because <laughs> it looks like in the, the top right quadrant, it seems like there's an awful lot going on. Yeah. Uh, I think that button with the water symbol on it might drain or move some of the water on the stage. Uh, the warp pad definitely seems like it's designed to get you down there to the bottom. Get me back to the other work pad. Okay. And yeah, now I'm out of lives. <sighs> I mean, not a bad first playthrough. I think you understand the mechanics a heck of a lot better than we did a minute ago. Oh yeah, I could kick butt on this course now. Plus it's a Kirby game. It'll probably let you restart from the... from the last stage you were on. No, looks like it's all based on courses. Oh really? Huh. Well, let's give it another go, I guess? Sure. I seem to remember being able to hook it pretty hard if you, uh, if you, uh, adjust those axes in the... Oh yeah, no, those curve you quite a bit. Ah, oh, come on. Get in the hole. <laughs> Yeah, I've never been terribly good at this part. <laughs> I mean, even in putt-putt, which is just literally all putting, uh, I can't say as I was ever, like, terribly competent at it. Which is weird, because, I mean, Florida has tons of golf courses. It's not like I've never been on one. Well, sure. I like driving the little carts. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the part of the sport that I most engaged with.
Like, I guess I had an okay, like a decent drive, but uh, even that wasn't like a skill that I could say like I was good at. <laughs> well, sure. Um, I mean, you know, I could put some force behind it, sure, and leverage is a thing, but uh, did it go in the direction I wanted to? More or less. Maybe. Mostly. Uh, but it lacked any kind of grace or precision, to be sure. Unlike that round, you actually did pretty good there. Yeah, that went alright. didn't zoom down the other side. I mean, yeah. Now you just gotta nudge it in there. Alright, claw it back a little bit. Yeah. Kirby's cheering you on. He knows you can do it. Look at that happy face. Seriously, I do think that is the happiest Kirby face I've ever seen uh, at the bottom there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's not good. You can pitch it over. Oh, yeah. I if you don't want to noodle with the warp pads a second time. a speed run of this. Like, oh, I'm sure there is. I was gonna say, it seems like Big John or somebody would do this as part of their, like, nothing but golf stream or something. Big John, you think? Yeah. Yeah, Big John would probably do this one. I he likes those a, golf games. I was gonna say, I know he's a fan of golf. Might have to Google that later. <laughs> I mean, because you're doing good, and you're using the mechanics, but I'm just, I was thinking oh, about yeah. that last stage. Take that! Very nice. But, uh, you know, you're, you're using the mechanics, and you're doing a good job. But I was thinking, there's probably some just absolutely ridiculous shots that were not meant to be made. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and I wouldn't mind seeing what that looks like. What's up? Oh, I was just... You probably want to keep the jump instead of switching to the umbrella. Oh. So the umbrella's the... Oh, come on. <laughs> So the umbrella is the trap option? Uh, for a speed run, yeah. Hmm. I mean, it'll have its uses, especially coming up. Sure. On, like actual golf, you don't have to go searching for the ball. And... True. You probably just have to whale on it. That's all. <laughs> ah, I should have put some top spin on that. Some what spin? Top spin. It makes you roll forward when you're done. Oh. All right. 
getting a whole eight without losing a life. Yeah. And playing whole eight and losing a life. It's just a hunch. It's fine though. I picked up an extra life with that hole in one. Yeah. Nice. Alright, course one complete. You know, I think Kirby might be the only game I franchise I can think of where it could just change genres like this and, you know, still work. Well, I mean, it's never had a bad game. That's what I mean. Like, you know, everyone has their favorite, and I'm sure that there's whole lists out there of what's which game's the best or worst or what have you, but... Um, I mean, I vividly remember having a Kirby pinball game for the Game Boy that was actually pretty fun. And it still felt like a Kirby game somehow. Like, it even had the boss fights. Oh, yeah. Uh, they were on the top level of the pinball game. You know, you got to the top and you had to smash the pinball Kirby into, you know, Wispy Woods or any of the other guys. Um, like, I'm not going to say that was the best Kirby game. Well, sure. Uh, or even my favorite Kirby game. Like, my favorite was probably, like, Kirby's Adventure. <laughs> or, I don't know. Uh, Kirby's Adventure is definitely up there. Or the N64 one was pretty good, because you could combine powers really neat ways. But, uh... But yeah, like, even even the weird ones, the really just out there stuff like this, um, still works. Um, you know, people still like, you know, um, Kirby Tilt and Tumble, or... Uh, Kirby Epic Yarn or anything. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, I don't hear a lot of people talking about, like, I don't know, Sonic Spinball. <laughs> the, the Sonic uh, Pinball game, which, it wasn't terrible, but, like, you know, doesn't get mentioned a whole lot, probably for good reason. <laughs> Now what do I do? Uh, well... If you take out both of those, I guess that one that's way up high will turn into the hole, but... Oh, yeah. Hey, that'll work. It keeps you from having to... You know, really pitch it up high to hit that other one. Oh, come oh. on. So close. But yeah, like Success. I feel like I feel like if Kirby came out with like a racing game or something tomorrow, I'd be like, yeah, all right, it's a Kirby game. It'll probably still be a good racing game. <laughs> True. They even got enough characters for that. It's true. Uh, again, going back to Sonic, because it's the other franchise <laughs> I can think of that has a lot of out there games. Like, I know Sonic R Racing had to, like, add characters. Uh, because they didn't have enough characters, I guess. Yeah. So there was, like, a... Like, a plush toy version of, like, Tails and a couple of other, like weird variants of characters in order to, uh, pad the roster a bit. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh. Nice and good. 
Well, if you hit the button again on the way, I think it turns the crazy squares off. It does. So... Oh, yeah, I am terrible at long shots. I say, the long shots kind of remind me of pool, because it's a lot of banking off of surfaces, and... You know, I did okay in geometry class, but... Like, that doesn't mean I understand how to play pool. <laughs> hey, alright. Got through that without losing a life. Oh, boy. All oh, right. everybody loves that guy. He's just the best. <laughs> Oh, you have the wheel! Oh, he did... doesn't bounce off the wall. I was gonna say, did you get to choose which direction the wheel went, or was it just momentum of... Just momentum. Okay. That's interesting to note. <laughs> okay. That looks promising. Oh, no! Oh, okay. Although I think you're about to... Yep. That might make it getting into the hole a little bit hard, if I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that doesn't really help at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a life. Okay. Maybe it's good you lost it, because now you don't have to worry about the wheel. True. Oh, no, the wheel would be really handy. Yeah. Well, if you hit it at the base of the of the ball and really wail on it, I feel like you can get it a little further than than it's saying. Just put enough top spin on it. That works too. Ooh, that sand trap really stops you dead. Yeah, it does. I was surprised you went for the, the brute force rather than uh, some kind of lobbing it. Yeah. Of course, lobbing it's a good way to go <laughs> over the railing, so uh, to be fair, there is a, a good reason for avoiding that. Yeah. yeah. I remember, like, every out of bounds I ever got was definitely me trying to lob a shot. <laughs> that worked pretty good. Yeah, that was alright. And then if you can hit that regular guy, uh, the pumpkin will turn into your uh, end of stage, I think. Stop! I thought you were about to float off the stage and I was going to be real sad. But you pulled it back. Got my own personal drag shoot. I was gonna say it, that actually helped you. Uh, I think I think it's the reason you had a little chip in instead of having to like seriously putt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So close. Yay, all right. That went pretty well. All right, last hole. Can we clear course two? I think you can. Take everything you've learned. Actually, uh, <laughs> yeah, no thanks. That worked out pretty darn good. Oh, what a fluke. Hooray, we win. Nah, that looked like super intentional. <laughs> I got number three spot on course one. Let's see how well I did on course two. Now, bomb guy got 19, so I didn't do terribly well. <laughs> Any course you can walk away from, though. That's true. Number four spot. Yeah, it's not too bad. Importantly, it gets us to course three. True. But I think we're going to leave it off there for now. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you later.